In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create the perfect snare stack within the Decades expansion library for Superior Drummer 3. And so what we're going to create is a great sounding snare stack that works with any snare drum and any mix configuration within the Decades library. Now we can start anywhere. We're in the default kit right now. However, let's go to the Tune Track preset menu and we're going to load this valve mid punch. So this will load a specific kit configuration along with mixer settings. We're just gonna use this as a starting point and as our general mix template. Let's take a listen to what we have so far. And before we get started with this perfect snare stack, as I'm calling it, I want to make a couple adjustments to this configuration. First of all, this is a great sounding big open bass drum, but I want something a bit punchier and a bit more staccato. So we're going to use this 22 inch Pearl bass drum. And the toms sound great as well. These are the Ludwig and Ludwig calfskin. But again, I'm gonna make an adjustment. I'm gonna change them to the Slingerland toms, which I love. So in a way we kind of did the opposite, created a more staccato, punchier bass drum, and now we have actually more open, round sounding toms. Now we're gonna keep the snare as is for now. Let's take a quick listen. I hear some rim shot articulations in there. So we're gonna go into the MIDI editor. I'm just double clicking on the MIDI block in the song track and actually have the snare drum articulation drop down already open so we can see all snare articulations. We have several rim shots. For our purposes, we're going to stack on the center articulation and I want to keep that consistent. So I'm gonna zoom out just a bit and I'm going to select all of the rim shot articulations and I want to drag that up to the snare drum. I'll go ahead and zoom back in. I wanna drag that up to the center articulation. Now you can simply click and drag. But notice with snap turned off, we're gonna lose that positioning. So I'm gonna undo that and I don't want snap on because this is a real drummer playing and that's gonna snap it to the grid if I move it. So I'll undo that, make sure I have everything selected again. We'll turn off the snap and click shift and then we'll drag up. You can see even if my mouse moves side to side, we're keeping the position of those articulations, of those hits. Very important. So now everything should be on the center articulation. If we zoom out, we'll see that they are. And now we're ready to begin with this perfect snare stack. So we have the Slingerland Radio King, great sounding snare. And I'm going to go up to the more menu with the snare selected, say add to center. Remember we moved all hits to the center articulation. And here we're going to select a different drum. Now there's a great selection of drums within the decades library, but there's one in particular that I love and that sounds really great stacked with any snare drum. And that's gonna be this six and a half by 14 Ludwig Black Beauty. We have a couple Black Beauties here but I like this lower pitch six and a half by 14. We have a ton of different articulations we could choose from, but we're gonna keep this simple. Let's just do a center articulation. Again, six and a half by 14 Ludwig Black Beauty. We'll stack on center and now we have our snare stack, our original Slingerland snare center articulation and our Ludwig Black Beauty, six and a half by 14. We're gonna go into the mixer. We wanna make sure we get that really nice reverb. So I'm gonna go into my stack, click edit stack, and we'll turn on the Ludwig Black Beauty that we just added in the properties menu. We'll double check all of the other channels. Center, we need to do the same thing. We'll just click on the top menu, bleed enabled section, and say enable all bleed, which will enable that snare stack as well. So we wanna make sure we're getting the same room and reverb sounds that we are on the original snare. So with the stacked sound, as compared to the original snare. Listen to that, just a really nice full sounding snare.
Now we could go through some other sound design options where maybe we use a velocity gate and only trigger the rim shot for louder articulations, but I'm gonna leave that all the way down or really turn it off. I want this triggered all the time for loud and soft velocities. Instead, what I wanna do is start going through with this mix configuration without changing anything else. I want to go through all of these snare options. We're gonna leave the stack the same with the six and a half by 14 Ludwig Black Beauty center articulation. So that's stacked on whatever snare we select from this menu. And what what you're going to hear is how well that Black Beauty snare drum fits with any snare selection. So let's go ahead and go up to the Slingerland Radio King, five and a half by 14, the very first one in the menu. And there, I just muted the Black Beauty so you can hear the difference. Again, great sounding combination. Let's jump to some others. Five and a half by 14 Leedy. And here we have the Ludwig and Ludwig, 1930s. Now this one is an interesting stack because we have our high pitch, really resonant Ludwig and Ludwig, and then our little fatter sounding Ludwig Black Beauty. So in some cases, maybe you need to make an adjustment. In this case, I want to take this Ludwig and Ludwig and match the pitch a bit closer to this Ludwig Black Beauty. I'm going to bring the pitch down just a little bit. So we'll select the main Ludwig and Ludwig snare drum from our stack. We're going to go to the tuning parameter and we'll just bring this down a bit. Seems like a lot, but with the drum head algorithm, I could turn that processing on. We'll get a more realistic tuning down effect. And listen to how well that works together. So sometimes with some of these examples, maybe you make some adjustments like this. You adjust the primary snare, adjust the pitch up or down. You could even adjust the stacked Black Beauty as well. All right, moving on, I'm gonna make sure I turn off my tuning adjustment so I don't make that same adjustment to other snare drums unless I want to. Four by 15 Ludwig, and we have several more to go through, so I'm going to breeze through these here. I'll just make a selection from this drop down menu while the groove is playing, so you can hear what that sounds like. And every now and again, I will mute the stacked Black Beauty snare drum. And right there, I want to stop because I selected the same snare that we have stacked. So in this case, I don't necessarily want to play both the exact same drum and same articulation. So we're going to skip that one. Although you could make some adjustments, you could make some pitch adjustments, or even in that case, grab a different articulation of the same snare. But I don't want to play the same center articulation stacked. So that's why I stopped. That's why we'll skip that one. Let's jump down to the 5x14 Ludwig Black Beauty. So we still have six and a half by 14 Black Beauty stacked on now the five by 14 Ludwig Black Beauty. This one I'm gonna to stop to. Love this Tama Bell Brass snare. Really thick, fat sound already. And when mixed with the Black Beauty, 
again, you get a really nice big sound. This is a great combination. We have a few more here. It's another one where I might make a pitch adjustment. A lot of ring, a lot of sustain, higher pitch snare. So let's turn back on our pitch adjustment. Again, without the drum head algorithm, this is on the main snare only. This is the Ludwig downbeat, 1960s. And with the algorithm, really makes a big difference there. And here's with the stack. Believe it or not, in this case, I actually like it without the higher quality drum head algorithm. And that's just a creative choice there. So again, you have a lot of leverage here of what you choose to use or not use. We'll go ahead and turn off that pitch or tuning adjustment. We have two more snares to go through, so I'll just play through them. And on this last one, this is a 6 half by 14 Ludwig Superphonic, but it's dampened with a towel. For this snare, I'm going to bring up the level quite a bit, just on that main snare. So it matches the level of the Black Beauty. I could turn the Black Beauty down, but in this case, I'm going to turn up this snare drum. Now you could stack any snare you want and combine them in any way. I've just found that the 6.5x14 Ludwig Black Beauty works very well with pretty much every snare drum in the Decades Library. Some cases you might want to make some adjustments, some cases it's fine as is. Again, one of my favorites is this Tama Bell Brass. Big, thick sounding snare drum already. I think that's just a great combination. And again, I like this combination with the Pearl Bass Drum and these Slingerland Toms. Now very quickly, one last trick. I have another track here where I have the same MIDI, but if I open up the snare drum, you can see that I've not adjusted the rim shot articulations. Maybe you wanna keep those rim shot articulations in, and we can do the same thing. I'm gonna keep the exact same Tama Bell Brass and 6 and a half by 14 Black Beauty stack, but I'm going to click on the snare drum. Go to more, add two. I want to add to the rim shot articulation because in this case, this track two, we have the rim shot articulation. And I'm going to select my Black Beauty, six and a half by 14, along with the rim shot articulation of that drum as well. We'll go to my mixer, make sure I get all of my bleed enabled. So now I have two stacks, both center and a rim shot stack that will accommodate MIDI grooves that you have using rim shot articulations. Very quick technique. I did the exact same thing, stacking the same snares, but now I have a rim shot stack for both rim shot articulations on the Tama and the Black Beauty. And that's a way you can create a great sounding stacked snare drum utilizing the 6 and a half by 14 Black Beauty within the Decades Expansion Library for Superior Drummer 3.